Hi Libra, how's it going? And welcome to your July general reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Libra, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Libra, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Libra, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Libra, how are you? I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. Again, this is your July general reading. We'll be doing a Celtic cross today. And don't forget it is general, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. We've got two more spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, again for July. We are in cancer season. Ooh, Libra, we have the world card at the bottom of the deck as your theme. Um, the world card is the last card in the major arcana, representing a major completion of a cycle. So congratulations on whatever that is. Um, I, I, it does feel for a lot of you like you're graduating maybe school, getting through a phase of something, like there's some type of cycle that is coming to a, com, um, a completion. And when, when one door closes and comes to a completion, it also is uh, means that there's another door opening. So um, out with the old, in with the new, uh, three of wands and the ace of cups. I do feel for a lot of you, there could be a new adventure around a new cup, a new friend, a new romance on its way. Um, cups also represent creativity, so a lot of you um, maybe have more time or space now for uh, more of your creative creative side. What's the current situation for Libra? Celtic Cross, thank you. What's the current energy, current situation? The full card, how appropriate. So we started with the ending card and now you're free, you're open. Um, I feel like there's something, I feel like there's a weight been lifted off of your shoulders. Um, so you're, you're in the free and the clear right now. You're in a new chapter, in a new um, phase of your life right now with the uh, world card to the full card. Very good, five of pentacles. I feel like you broke away from something for a lot of you. What's crossing Libra? Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio specifically for some of you. Queen of Cups um, does represent my relationship card or a deep connection. So a lot of you, you're not sure if you want to maybe stay in a connection or not. Knight of Pentacles, a connection, and it, it could be romantic with the Queen of Cups, but it also could be a connection between you and a friend. Knight of Pentacles is telling me that this connection, Queen of Cups, it's been around, you've been in it for a long time, for some type, long amount of time. So I feel for some of you, Queen of Cups, full card, you're not sure if you want to stay or leave, um, maybe a particular person or some type of connection here. Connection can also be with a family member, um, you know, anything like that. What's your focus? What's Libra's focus right now? Ooh, Queen of Wands, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, an Ace of Pentacles. I really feel like you're working on your confidence. I'm hearing empowerment, empowering yourselves. Um, you're focused on Queen of Pent or Queen of Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles is giving me like shopping spree energy for y'all, like getting a new wardrobe, maybe like changing your hair. Something about your image might be changing for a lot of you because again, um, out with the old, in with the new. I feel like you, um, you're you're. You, the way you look on the outside is representing some type of cycle that you've completed um, in your life or even internal. Okay, beautiful. What's been in the recent past for Libra? High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. Um, you could have been, again, in the past, if you broke away from something or are, you could have been keeping that information to yourself, really just trusting and, and, and tuning into your intuition. Ten of Swords being like, you know what, something doesn't feel right, something doesn't feel comfortable to me. Um, there's been a sense of maybe betrayal here, Ten of Swords, um, and you were just maybe keeping that to yourself, like knowing internally it's time to leave this. 
time to leave this behind. Um, that type of thing was acknowledged by your intuition in the recent past. That's actually a really good sign. Really tapped into your intuition. Very good, Libra. What's crowning you? The moon, um, Pisces or Cancer energy here, Five of Cups. I feel like y'all are keeping, this is a very emotional energy. Um, if you're very sensitive or feeling emotional about something, it's really, in, the emotions are really strong in your mind right now. Like you keep thinking a lot about how maybe sad or down or emotional you are about this situation. Also with the moon card, some of you could still feel in the dark about your situation where you don't have all the answers. What's in the near future for Libra, please? Ooh, we got two cards, I'm gonna take them, beautiful. We have the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy again, um, and the Nine of Cups with that, beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune also talks about a completion. So for a lot of you, there is karma coming through. Something is finally speeding up, Knight of Cups. It could be a romantic offer for some of you. Um, it could be also Knight of Cups is that creative energy, cups are creative energy. Some of you are like, okay, now that I'm done with this, this chapter, this cycle, this process, I'm free to Knight of Cups. Um, go after that one thing I love to do. It's I'm hearing it's time. It's my time. Um, you know, I don't know. Some of you I feel like are, are becoming, I'm seeing a lot of cosmetology stuff for this group, like um, hairdressers, um, makeup artists like that type of thing it doesn't have to you know resonate for all of y'all but i feel like a lot of you like you know what it's time for me to do that one thing already and again if it's not about creativity um with the queen of cups and the knight of cups there's definitely a lot of emotions and some type of some type of connection that you're dealing with right now let me see libra please what's your power eight of swords Three of Swords, all oh, babes. I keep y'all just keep asking yourselves why, 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 why did this happen? A lot of you again are are really caught in your head, of course, about Three of Swords, maybe a loss that you've had, um, grieving something, um, a relationship, something like that. You're you're really showing up, um, you know, in your head, and that's okay. What's hidden from you? Knight of Wands, okay. And the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like there is someone, because these two knights are facing each other, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Cups. I feel like there is um, some type of passionate information. Someone wants to come see you. I'm hearing someone wants to address the situation. Um, Knight of Wands is very speedy energy. Someone's like working up the courage, Ace of Cups, to give you their cup to reach out to you, give you some love, give you some comfort, give you some support. Paraffin just flew out. I, didn't, I wasn't ready yet. That's a high level commitment. So for some of you, there could be a high level commitment on the table. What are your hopes and fears? The world card. So that was the first card we started in and the page of cups. It's like almost the whole water family is here coming out here. Um, so again, maybe some of you are fearing something coming to a final close, but also at the same time, you've already checked in on the situation with yourself, which I love in the recent past. And you've already acknowledged that, yeah, something is done or maybe needs to be done for now. Um, so maybe if that is a hope and a fear, you know, it can be, it can be scary to end something. Um, lover's card came out. I wasn't ready. Let's get an outcome for Libra. Spirit, what's the outcome for Libra in July? Thank you. Three of Wands, which we also saw behind the World card in the Three of Cups. Some of y'all could be seeing threes. That's creation energy, three, three, uh, 33, 33. Three of Cups, we have the Emperor. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, you Libra, Justice with the Magician. This is not gonna be for everybody, but for a group of you, you will be reuniting um, with this masculine. I do feel a strong father figure, maybe seeing a, a father, uncle, grandfather for a lot of you. 
And if it's not that, it could be your divine masculine, like some type of romantic partner or business partner. I feel like for some of you, you just bump back into them with the Three of Cups. But I feel like that's where this is going. For a lot of you, you're you're on the fence about a connection, about a person, a group of people. Okay, you're like you you know already with the high priestess and how the ten of swords came out, you've already checked in with yourself and been like, Ten of Swords, I feel so much betrayal. I can't think about this anymore. It's really painful. So it feels like you needed to hang up hang it up for now. It, it's causing and stirring up a lot of um, deeper emotions within you right now. I feel a lot of you with the moon card crowning you and you showing up as the Eight of Swords, you feel really, really triggered by this situation because you, I'm hearing you never wanted to be the bad guy and you're not the bad guy or the bad girl, that kind of thing. And it's not that you're that, um, you're just really having to take a stand and closing a major cycle in your life. Three of Wands in your, as your outcome, is you're, you're just kind of waiting to see what happens from the results of what you choose to do. Three of Wands is like, I'm gonna make a decision, one, two, three, in this new path, and then I'm gonna wait to see what happens from there, if my ships come in, um, that type of thing. So I do feel like a lot of you are waiting on this Knight of Wands, um, someone to be passionate about you in regards to comforting you in this situation, and I do feel like that's gonna happen here. All right, let's go a little bit deeper and clarify. I've already pre-shuffled um, and cut this deck to save some time. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. This is the everything card, the family, the career, the connection, the home, all that stuff, the dogs, the cats, all that stuff, right? Or Two of Swords is very Libra energy. You're in a decision-making mode. Do I have it all? Do I want it all? Like you could choose that or nine of cups, or you could choose um, yourself as the nine of cups, your own personal happiness. Look at y'all choosing you. Some of y'all already can feel it. You're like, I'm gonna choose me this time. A couple readings ago, y'all were very strongly saying no, and I, y'all know I love that for you. Y'all are going to be choosing yourself now. I love this. Very empowered Libra. Very good. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Full card energy, whole new world energy. Why is the full here for Libra? What's this new chapter opening up for you? All right, four coming out. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, Star card, um, Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, and Aquarius. For some of you with the Four of Cups, it literally says over it on her sweater. So emotionally speaking, you're so over it on something or somebody here. This new chapter that's unfolding is all about you, babe. This is all about you um, closing that computer, closing that chapter down of searching some, for something, someone, a situation outside of yourself. When babes, you know the answer, Eight of Pentacles is right here inside. So a lot of you are gonna start doing some soul searching and really getting nitty gritty on what lights your fire. Um, a lot of you are really coming into a strong part of your life and fulfilling your life's purpose as you continue to choose yourself. And when I say choose yourself, it doesn't mean I'm not talking to these people or breaking up, da, 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 da. but you choosing yourself is prioritizing yourself. That is huge for you, Libra. Okay, so we have the star card also with this and the ace of pentacles. A lot of you do, I, mean, I am, I know this is cheesy, but I'm hearing you have a dream. I have a dream, you know what I mean? Like you have this dream of whatever, maybe being on a platform, doing that creative thing you've always wanted to do. Maybe there's a dream person or opportunity you wanna you want go after, but you wouldn't be able to have this Ace of Pentacles if you didn't close the door to something in, uh, in your recent past, right? So this is totally 100 million billion percent of focus on you, you, and more you. And I love that for you so much. I love that. This is like your time, your time to to put in the Ace of Pentacles, to put in the time, um, the effort, the energy into building up your dreams. It honestly feels right now for a lot of you, you're in that place where I was um, a couple years ago when I was like, no matter what, 
I am doing tarot and I am doing it on YouTube. I don't know why I'm supposed to do it, but I'm supposed to do it and look at how much of how big our family is now. It's like y'all are right there at that breaking point of maybe it's tarot for some of you. Maybe it's a spiritual practice. A lot of creative energy is coming in for you, but no one else can do it until you prioritize you. Oh my God, this feels so good. I love this for you. Let's look at your queen of, queen of cups crossing you. This is probably a relationship or a connection that's on the fence with you right now. Why is this queen of cups crossing Libra, please? Knight of pentacles again. This is a person or connection um, and queen of swords you that you have been in or around this person for quite some time with the knight of pentacles strength card knight of pentacles queen of swords gemini libra of aquarius in the feminine um with uh the, 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 tongue tied some of y'all are tongue tied and don't know what to say yet in regards to this person or situation and that's okay you don't need to have all the answers um anyways but strength card is leo's card some of you specifically could be dealing with a leo or another um, air sign here. It's a tough, it's a tough decision and it's a, it feels like a tough conversation. Um, if it was more of a final decision, um, right now I would, we would be getting the King of Swords, but with the Queen of Swords, there's still conversation to be had with this person or in this situation. Something has uh, strength card, Knight of Pentacles. There has been something very hard to deal with in regards to another person that you're in a, in a romantic relationship with. It could be like a parent child thing for some of you, um, a close friend, whatever it is, it's a soulmate as it's showing up as a cups in the cups family. It means that they're a soulmate. I'm getting really anxious, jittery um, energy on this. So this means a lot of you are almost terrified to have this conversation because you know it can be a game changer. Knight of Wands, you're still working up the courage to, to do this, to address this. Let's look at your focus as the Queen of Wands, empowerment, you looking good, feeling good, staying loyal to you. Wands, King, Queen of Wands also specifically talk about loyalty. Um, Queen of Wands is more loyal to herself. King of, King of Wands is more loyal to the pack, okay? Not that the Queen of Wands isn't loyal to a relationship, but it's more about sticking up for herself. And I talk, when I say, uh, herself, I mean he or she watching. It's just a feminine energy. I really feel like you're like, I I'm, you're sticking up for yourself big time. Why are you the queen of wands? Why are that? Why is it your focus? Why is the focus the queen of wands? You're also, for a lot of you, really inspired by somebody. Um, you have like an, a person who's like, you know, very inspiring to you. You look up to them. Five of swords, six of pentacles. Ooh, Libra's about had it. Oh, ace of wands. Sun card. Yeah, I feel like... Libra, ah! five of swords, 10 of swords. Okay, there's someone for a lot of you, I don't know who this is, it could be anybody. There's someone five of swords who is really nasty to you, who doesn't talk very nicely to you. It causes conflict. Um, it could be you, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> um, Six of pentacles, when someone talks bad to you, you don't need to continue Six of pentacles, Ace of wands to overgive. You need to, you need to start giving to yourself right? Which is what we talked about. It's like, you know, and said, like, when this person, five of swords causes conflict, maybe doesn't speak nicely to you. Um, you do the Libra thing, six of pentacles, ace of wands. You pick up the energy a lot and like flush away. I'm hearing compartmentalize your emotions and how you feel and you turn into a gift giver. Okay. That person wasn't nice to me. Let me prove how awesome I am. Let me go buy them a gift. Let me be extra generous with them. Ace of wands that restarts the connection that restarts the the path with you and whoever this is over and over and over again
what's this ace of wands about there is a new version of you emerging ten of pentacles i can't that's beautiful page of cups they want me to put it back but yeah for a lot of you you are taking a lot on the chin is how spirit is saying like any conflict you're like it's okay i can still give to this it's okay they didn't mean that a lot of you i do feel are making excuses for someone else's bad behavior around around you you better not What's this high priestess in the recent past? This was you checking in with yourself. This was you listening to your intuition. Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Devil. A lot of you um, were seeing what you can do. I'm hearing maybe getting your funds together, Page of Pentacles, doing your research, that type of thing. Wearing your rose-colored glasses, of course, pretending like you're all right. Two of Wands, Two of Cups, putting your back to this connection. Being, hey, what can I learn from this situation? You notice how the Two of Wands, she has her back to the Two of Cups, the connection that we're talking about, the person, the whatever. How can I get out of this? How can I leave this person, this place, this situation, how can I, how can I leave it? Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are, 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 if this is about a romantic relationship, you already know this because I'm talking about the high priestess, but it does need to be said. A lot of you are really just scared of being single and being single is the best thing that you can ever do for yourself. Choose you, choose you. Choose you. Being single's hot, okay? Okay? I personally feel, myself included, like we all thrive a little bit better when we're not so caught up on somebody else, right? Right. Why is the moon card here, Libra? Moon card up here. I'm hearing now cloudy. You just feel it's like, it's like kind of like you have a fog over you. Like it makes perfect sense here. Oh, oh, why is that? Why is that? You're dealing with a narcissist. I'm going to say it. A lot of you are dealing world card. You're done. You're done with the devil. You're done. You're done with this. You're done with putting yourself in these chains. They're not, they're not, they're not chained on you by this devil that you, you put them on. You chose to be there. And so therefore you can make a choice to leave this because the opposite of, of the devil here is the lovers, which is the choice card. You always have a choice to leave. Oh, y'all thought I was gonna be sweet today. Moon card crowning you. I'm always sweet to you guys. I am being sweet. I'm being sweet because I'm being really real and straightforward because I love y'all so much. And some of y'all need to hear these things like this because you're a little bit in denial about your situation. I'm gonna lose a lot of you for saying that, but I don't care because I love you. Moon card crowning you, why is this happening for Libra? Why are you so foggy? Because you, you gave your power away, devil. Like I don't even need to pull any other cards. Libra? Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Not only did you give your power away to this person, that, that relationship, the job, the addiction, whatever that is, you gave it all away. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's like a lot of you, it's like you gave it, you gave it your heart and soul. Nine of Pentacles, you gave it all your independence, you gave it all of your Ten of Pentacles, you gave it your everything. That's why you're in a fog. Ace of Swords, you couldn't see. You couldn't see because you've been blinded by Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Double. A lot of you, someone, I feel like strong, like sugar daddy energy or or someone who can provide for you. I can, I have this house for you. I have this job for you. Da, 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 da. All this providing, providing false illusion energy, false illusion. 
Ace of Swords was there. That's your wake up call. What's this Wheel of Fortune in the near future for Libra? We cannot make this up. The Wheel of Fortune, something that you're done with, look what came out. The two most difficult tens. Ten of Swords, look at you on your phone. I'm fine, no you're not. Look at how difficult that is. You've been carrying the weight of the world. Obviously the world's come out twice. Literally you've been carrying the weight of the world, other people's responsibilities, uh, this, this, this burden on your shoulder, the toxic traits, believing in all of it, and that's what you can't do to yourself anymore, Six of Cups. This has stemmed from something way deep in your childhood or from some past past connection that you were in some time ago. This has been going on for a hot minute with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups coming in near future for Libra? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Page of Wands, Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. Three of Swords. You might be uh, super out of there. Yeah, Chariot, Cancer's energy. We're also in Cancer, uh, Cancer's season right now. Um, you will be finding balance and moving on from this. Three of Pentacles page of wands and picking up a new wand, picking up a new passion for a lot of you. Uh, again, really digging into, there's literally, they're doing art here. There's like a teacher showing this person how to, how to draw, how to do art. A lot of you are truly, truly probably done with a person or a relationship that's very toxic um, and very unhealthy for you or an unhealthy something that you've been doing. Zero judgment on my part. I think I haven't gone through this. Um, but for a lot of you, you're finally choosing yourself and your creative outlets. And that's what's going to save you here. That's what's going to save you here. I've been here. I've been here. I understand where, where you're at. A hundred million percent. Why are you the eight of swords? Now this is you just like, bah, like going nuts. Going nuts. Let's look at it. I mean, we already know, but let's look at it. I, I mean you've tried I get it you've tried to address this you've tried to break away that type of thing four of cups again look at on her sweater on her hoodie over it who's over it you are you've been over it whatever this person place situation is it has not been filling your cup it doesn't feel good does it King of Swords, there it is. There's your final decision. There you are. Male or female watching, getting into that masculine energy. The, the feminine energy is more back and forth. Let's talk about it. Masculine energy is done so. Final decision. Why? Because you've given it nine of wands multiple tries, multiple times at this place, with this person, in that connection, in that nine to five that can't stand, whatever that is for you. Money's been great. If this is about job for you, money's been woo, amazing. But how do you feel inside? Empty. This really tested your queen of pentacles, your queen of worth, your queen of worth, queen of pentacles, your worth on this. It's really been tested. You've had enough. You're fed up. You're over it. Let's look at your Knight of Wands, your hidden energy. Very passionate person. Um, it, usually this is the player, but I don't feel that. I feel like this is someone who's like, I wanna help you. I wanna be there for you. Why is this hidden from Libra, Knight of Wands? Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Six of Cups. There's someone who's finding out about what's happening with you. 
either you text them, you message them, and then boom, 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 they're on the, in their car, on their motorcycle, on their way. Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. This is something that this person wasn't expecting. Who is this person for you? Empress. It could be a mother figure for a lot of you. Divine Feminine. Um, Four of Wands. Yeah, very trustworthy Divine Feminine. I feel like is coming in to help you. I don't want to say rescue you because that's we need to be rescuing ourselves. No one rescues us. But this is someone who's like, oh, you need help. Here I am. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This person, um, but this person is saying specifically, they can't help you if you don't ask. So there is someone else that feels like, like a mother, father figure, divine feminine, a strong, powerful femme for a lot of you who really wants to be there for you. But she's telling me, I can't be there for you unless you communicate that. Um, don't always assume that everyone's a mind reader, okay? All right, why is the world card in your hopes and fears, Libra? Ooh, just like I said, lovers, Hierophant, Ace of Cups. The opposite of the devil is the lovers. What's coming to an end? The runner chaser, the codependency, that type of relationship or connection or whatever that is done. We are stepping into high level commitment and choosing ourselves, Ace of Cups, filling our cups first and foremost. Um, a lot of you, yeah, King of Pentacles are just choosing yourself and I couldn't be any more proud. You know that you're worth so much more than where you've been or what you've been dealing with. I don't know why I know that and you don't about yourself. Very good. Six of Wands came out. This will be a victory for a lot of you. You will you will overcome this. I know it doesn't seem like it now or you don't feel like it will be, but it will. You'll get over it. Three of Wands. Why is this here for Libra in the outcome? y'all you're gonna do it you're gonna do it you're gonna take your power back we have the emperor uh the nine of cups and the seven of pentacles um it could be a divine masculine could be an aries could be a father figure here but for a lot of you this is you stepping into an emperor role a lot of you might be starting your own business working for yourself nine of cups choosing yourself choosing your own personal happiness seven of pentacles and making solid plans in this new energy for who for you no one else for no one else for you um, this is a major opportunity for you to heal right now, especially Nine of Swords Tower. All of the crazy, um, stressful tower, anxiety, staying up late at night, those are being healed right now. Temperance energy. I know this was an intense one. I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware, but I love y'all so much, and I hope that things get better for y'all, and I hope that you continue to choose yourself um, because... That's just the best. It's just the best when you choose when you choose yourself. Um, we're gonna do your pick a card, and those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. Whoopsie. And the Libra that won the pick a card this time is Sarah Gebauer. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Sarah, you are my winner. Okay, so Libra, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Um, you, I will not pick your name if you're not subscribed, so that is a requirement. I, uh, the pick a card is only for my subscribers, okay, on my channel. And then, um, if you want me to also pick your name, be subscribed, and, and you have to leave your name, um, somewhere in the comment section down below so I know what name to write on the card. It's super easy. Be subscribed, leave your name. I get tons of questions, like every single reading, on how to enter, and it's super easy. Just hit the subscribe button so I know you're subscribed and then um, leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all in the love reading or next time. All right, Sarah, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. Woo, I need some coffee after that one. Woo!
We've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Sarah? Libra energy. Um, two of Pentacles, you're very busy and overwhelmed right now. Knight of Wands, Temperance. I feel like you're trying to calm down and heal from something um, that's been going on, but you're having a hard time slowing down. Hmm. Sarah, what do we have for Sarah, please? Yeah. Ooh. Emperor, probably talking about uh, a masculine Aries, maybe a, uh, could be like a divine masculine, a partner, a boss figure. Ooh, they're really, really messing up your vibe big time. The boss, this dude, this masculine. Six of Cups, you could have children with this person um, or with the Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups, you've known this person for a long time or been around them or in this for a long time. Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. Um, I almost want to say this person... I am in no way, shape, or form a, a medical professional in any way, but I am sensing a very strong sense of mental abuse here. Sarah. Five of Pentacles. Devil. Yeah, this person is... You are around... In not good situation, my love. Four of Wands, Two of Wands. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Um, you are trying to figure it out. I feel like you're trying to go home. Um, Five of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you are Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles here, Two of Wands. Like you're looking, you're trying to find information, uh, maybe funds, the time, the resources to literally move is what I'm feeling. Yeah, there's an emperor, a masculine, a boss that really puts you in a box. They make you feel very small. This person belittles you probably. Um, I have a strong feeling you make excuses for this person, especially four of wands if you are married or in some type of connection um, with them. But with the two of wands, you know that this is something that is not of value for you long term. He's even giving a side eye. Yeah, you might have children with this person, which could be the, a huge hang up there. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ten of Wands. Um, this person I also feel like could be um, like a sole provider financially. Yeah, Five of Cups, Three of Swords. This person um, has hurt you time and time again emotionally. Um, they take advantage of you in a lot of ways. They also, I feel like this person holds the fact like if they're, you know, like if this is a, a masculine that makes the money and you stay at home with the kids type of scenario. I don't have to be, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's what it feels like. Um, that that person's like, okay, well I make all the money. So, you know, like they dangle that over your head. That's a narcissist, that's a narcissist. That's not someone who loves you, babe. It can pretend to, I'm not saying they don't love you, but. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands. You have someone here to help you, maybe a fire sign um, or a water sign, hangman, queen of wands, page of swords. You are you talk to like maybe one person about this. And whatever they say, you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's what the excuse is. You're just like, no, it's fine. No, we're good. Yeah, you make excuses for this constantly. On your nine of wands, nine of cups, you know better. You know you should, you deserve better. Ace of pentacles, queen of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Um, yeah, there is like a fear around maybe like funds, money, financial situation. Um, you know, you know you can do it though. Like ace of pentacles, queen of pentacles. If you know if you went and looked for a job, you would get it. Ace of pentacles, queen of pentacles. You could have it. You, you, and any pinnacle. It's gonna take work. 
it's gonna be a lot, especially if you have children or other people to take care of, I get that. So I do feel like you're looking for a job or will be soon and you'll probably find it a, a nine of cups. You'll probably find something really great or if not a job, you will take on some type of um, financial opportunity that'll, that's coming to you. Five of pentacles. I feel like this is where you leave. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like if, if slash when you leave this person or situation, that's why two of pentacles, you're overwhelmed or maybe you will be because it's like you might be a single a single Sarah now, single mom vibe. Queen of Swords, pretending, because Queen of Swords only tells half the truth. So again, a little bit of pretending like we're okay. Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. This is Four of Wands for Sarah. Good. Someone's gonna also protect you. And it feels like this queen of wands, like this is that person's counterpart, like someone else's masculine. I feel, I don't know why I do feel like a police officer or like a judge or someone who has some type of power and authority for some reason is like gonna hide you. Is gonna play pretend like you're not there or you're not somewhere. And that's all I can say on that. Spirit said, don't say anything else. 10 of swords, six of wands, you're gonna be okay. You're going through a very painful, difficult situation. You know you deserve way better. Um, it's gonna be a hot, you know, it's gonna be a struggle here for a hot minute, minute maybe financially, um, but you will find protection and you know, I feel like you are gonna be okay. All right, I love this, what I have for you. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.